Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is kind of the second part. I thought I would show how to save this file. If, you, if you're using Corel for a plasma cutter, you need to save the file as a DXF. Now, from experience or one word of warning, you do not want to have these even off your page size, so get rid of them when you save your file. Because at least with my plasma cutter, it will bring in those files too, and you can really uh, cause you some irritation. Now, fortunate enough with a laser, anything off the bed is off the bed or off the page, and it will not engrave or cut. Anyway, so this mainly is for a plasma cutter. So what I would do is uh, change your bed size to the size of a sheet of steel, which is 48 by 48 or, you know, or half a sheet. Most tables are four by eight or four by four. Put it pretty much anywhere you want on the table. But then all you have to do is go up in Corel, just go up to file, save as, and I'm not going to save this because I've already saved it, but we're saving the drawing, let's say on this um, thumb drive, and we're just going to call it Cowboy. I've already got one saved as a JPEG. Just back up. Cowboy with horse and cross. But then what you need to do, you need to go right down here where it says type a file and you just need to save, save it as a DXF and you can see I've already got it saved because I've already posted it on a Facebook page. But then all you have to do is hit save and that file is a DXF now and ready to take over to your plasma table. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.